guys, here with Creation In Between, here with another haul video. Um, this is going to be real quick. Um, I don't want to spend too much time talking, but there were some new items that I did find at some of these craft stores today um, that I do want to show you. I have never seen them before, so they're new to me. I don't know if they are actually new to the stores or not. Um, I did go to a different Target than usual, a different AC Moore, um, and I believe a different Michaels. I don't normally go to these ones, so uh, let me show you what I got. I did go to Target first, and I found more pens. You have no idea, I have been searching months for these pens. My Targets never have them, and um, I do prefer this color scheme over the, the uh, pink and orange ones that I did find the other day. Um, so obviously I had to pick these up. A little sticky notepad. I have stopped buying these because um, I really just don't need them anymore. But I just love the um, just a note phrase in here and the little pattern. So I picked that one up. And more folders. I use these a lot. Um, so I'm always looking for different patterns. And you get three for a dollar if you get the file folders. And then I think they have the smaller ones which come with, I want to say about five to a pack. Um, they have the hole punch on the side. Anyway, I saw these. They are completely new patterns to me. Um, I loved this floral one, and that was really neat. Um, this black one in the middle says things to do later. I thought that was kind of cute. Same with this pattern, which is which matches the little sticky note on there. But I loved this watercolor one, and of course the polka dot, which I am always using. So I picked those up from um, the Target dollar spot. Then I hit up AC Moore. Um, pretty much I just went to the clear clearance section. Um, I do love to look at their clearance. It's pretty much all I get there. Um, they have these cardstock papers um, on the clearance right now. Uh, they're 20, 25 cents. Uh, that AC Moore I went to didn't really have many patterns, but they're double sided. Um, and I thought these were cute again with the polka dots. I'm just obsessed with them. Um, so I picked two of those up. Clearance again. I did buy another pack similar to this. I think it was more for travel, but my next weekly theme uh, for my do uh, Target Dollar Spot Planner is going to be um, Mayflowers, so I thought I could use a couple of those. And more washi on clearance, of course. Thought they were cute. This is like a black vinyl, almost. I don't have black, believe it or not. I have black patterns, but I thought this would be good to have, and that's just cute. Then this pen, I'm told that the Le Pen pens um, are really good because they're very thin, and I prefer to write with like a thin tip, that's why I usually use um, mechanical pencils a lot. Um, and the Target Dollar Spot pens are actually, they write very thin, so I picked up one of those to test those out. That was AC Moore. Then I went to Michael's. Um, I originally went because I had a coupon, 40% off coupon, and I wanted to get another uh, string journal. I really like these. They're cheap and they're durable. Um, I have the, the teal one um, for my Fedori right now. I love it. So I wanted this to be more of an art journal. Um, I will be doing a whole series on that. The second reason why I went to Michael's, and pretty much the only reason why I went out to begin with today, um, were for these fox stickers. I want to do a fox theme because I love foxes, and um, I did pick up a couple things from Dollar General the other day that I can also use with that theme. And of course, little paw prints because I thought they were really cute. So those were the real reasons why I went out to Michael's. But, of course, I found more washi. I thought this was a pretty pattern. I can't help myself. Then in their little um, dollar section, where things are like a dollar or three dollars or whatever it is, this, I found these. They're adhesive library pockets. I'm assuming that you can literally just stick them and they'll be like pockets. Uh, I thought that, that would be really handy in my... Um, Target Planner or maybe my Fedori. So I picked those up. And this is the first time I'm seeing these. Uh, Studio G. 
I guess is making these. They're um, like journal cards and stickers. Um, I only saw, I think, two different kinds, but I like this one and I'm always in search for cheap journal cards and such, so I got those. And then these. I am in love with these. They are like the perfect size to put in um, your Fedori. Uh, it might be a little wide once you get a couple in there, but as you can see on my my other one, they actually stick out and I prefer them. I don't really like the thin inserts that already come with these. So I picked up four. I loved... I'm not too fond of the color. I mean, this green is nice, but the blues, eh. But I love the quote and um, the little explore. I figured I could use them when I put together a traveler's notebook for Disney. Um, my husband, sister-in-law, and my brother are thinking about going to Disney next year, so that's not gonna be a project until, well, next year. Um, but I couldn't help it. I thought they would be perfect, so I picked those up. And again, polka dots, I love them. Uh, so I picked those up as well. This is a black and that's that green again. So those were all from Michael's. Last but not least, I went to the Dollar Tree, of course. I went to pick up another uh, one of these little coupon file folders. I already have one, uh, a blue one to store stickers in. Um, kind of running out of room, so I bought another one. They work really well, as you can see. have all my stickers in there. Not really organized or sorted, but I just already, I tend to know where I put them. I already took the sticker off of this, but this is a little zipper pouch. Um, again, I'm running out of room for my stickers. Uh, <laughs> I have this little polka dot one that I also got from the Dollar Tree, which doesn't open very wide, so I can't fit too much in it, and it's already kind of full. So I figured I can transfer some of the stuff or all of them into the, that, and that'll be perfect. Then I found these. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them. Uh, I know Cheap Crafty Girl puts them on paper clips and uses them in her planner, which is a really cute idea. I may do that, I may not, but my Dollar Tree never seems to stock them, so that's why I grabbed them. And I just grabbed, I just wanted one ruler, but this came with two. Um, I have these plastic rulers that are just marked up and I can't really read the numbers or anything, so I got those. And I don't know if these are going to fit, but I got a bin. Um, it's probably so not focusing, but this one's kind of um, deep. I, it's pretty much just for uh, desk organization. Same with this one. It's you know, a little bigger. Again, I want to be able to put um, printer paper or sticker paper and all that other stuff in here. This is a little deeper than the usual paper trays um, that you get anywhere or even the Dollar Tree, so I thought this would be pretty good. And that is it for my Dollar Tree haul and the overall haul. Um, like I said, there's a lot of new items that I saw that are new to me, um, so I figured I would share just in case no one else has seen it before, um, and just to keep a lookout. So um, thanks for watching!